Hello, today we are going to see how to use the bean shell post processor to generate a custom log file in CSV format. So you can find the bean shell post processor uh, information on uh, jmeter.apache.org and uh, we will uh, move ahead with the test pan creation. I have already created a test pan. I will explain you how I have created that. I have a test plan. Under this test plan, I have created a random variable. The random variable name is test underscore no. The output format is test underscore 000. This 000 will be populated at runtime. Configure the random generator. The minimum value is 100 and the maximum value is 1000. And in the options section, I have put as per thread is true. So it will run per thread. Next, we look into the thread group. The thread group has number of threads as 3 and the loop count as 5. The ramp up period is 0. So this test will run for 15 iterations that is 5 into 3, 15. Next I have under the thread group I have put a dummy sampler. The dummy sampler uh, you can find the dummy sampler by right clicking on the thread group and clicking add and then in the sampler section just select jp add gc dummy sampler here this one okay moving on under this dummy sampler i have added a bean shell post processor this bean shell post processor is the main thing that is used in generating the custom log so here uh, in the script section i have put some script that is javascript uh, not javascript but it's a java code uh, and uh, i will try to explain what this script does the first line is declaring a response string which gets the test number from this test the test number i have shown you earlier then it puts the response text into the log file as an info then I have declared a variable called email and it holds the value abc at gmail.com. Next, I have declared a note string and this has the value this is test and I have put ctx.getthreadnum. Now, what ctx.getthreadnum does is it gets a thread number and it's the context that is used. Next is the file writer object f stream and I am writing the output to custom log 1.csv that, <coughs> that is in Apache JMeter 3 bin folder. Next comes the buffered writer object that is out and I have used buffered writer by pointing it to f stream. Next comes the uh, next I have used the write methods for the out object that we have created in this step and I have put the response variable and email variable here. Next comes the system.get property which is a line separator in this case and finally I have closed the out object and the f stream that's as far as the bean shell post processor code goes under the thread group i have added a response assertion where i am asserting whether the response code is 200 and i have added two listeners view result in table and view result in tree so now let's run this and see what our results are as you have already seen in the bean post processor our result will be in custom log 1.csv file. So let's go and delete the custom log csv file that I have created earlier. So we are all set now. There is no custom log 1.csv file and we can run this test. I put my cursor on view results tree and I start the test. There are few 
uh, samplers that are failing and few that are passing let's see why the samplers are failing these tests are failing because of the assertion that we have put in if you look into the sampler result the response code is 199 it is taking a random value from 198 to 200 and in this case it, it has taken a value 199 that's the reason this has failed and similar is the case with this one similar is the case with this one so here it is taking the value of 198 so this is as far as our view results tree goes and the same thing we can view in view results table few tests are passed and few tests have failed if you go below in the view results table you will see that the average time is 7 and the deviation is 4 number of samples is 15 now since we have the custom log file created let's have a look at the custom log file okay so here we have the custom log file just double click on that it opens up a comma delimited excel file this is the file let me expand this one so here we see that this is test 0 this is test 1 so where is this test 0 test 1 coming if you look into the bean shell post processor we had that appended rather if you go into the dummy sampler we had uh, we had this appended in this line this is test ctx dot get thread num so what we are seeing is the thread number appended to this is test so in total we have three threads 0 1 and 2 we have three threads right next we have 15 iterations as you can see the number is 15 and the point to note over here is test underscore underscore 666 what is this 666 number or what is this 643 number this is coming from the random variable that we have assigned if you look into the random variable uh, config you will notice that the variable name over here is test number and the output format that is test underscore 000 this 000 is replaced at runtime by random numbers so that is the reason we are seeing different numbers after test underscore here in this first column column a so that's all about custom log file this is our custom log file which has got generated using bean shell post processor thank you very much